Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript set timeout function. Set timeout function executes a function after a specified delay time. Set timeout function is used to execute a given function after a specified delay time guys. Let's have a demo and understand. I minimize it. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to JavaScript timing functions. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see default.html page is open in the Google Chrome. Its title is set to JavaScript timing functions. I go back to the code. Here in the body section, I am going to create a paragraph opening p, closing p. Inside that, I put the content some text. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see some text is displayed. Now what I want, when I reload the page, after 3 seconds, some text should automatically get changed to paragraph text. When I reload the page, after 3 seconds, some text should automatically get changed to paragraph text guys. So how do I do that? Here I say opening script tag, closing script tag. Then I say type is equal to text or javascript then i create a function called change text bracket bracket opening flower bracket closing flower bracket i'm going to access this paragraph inside the change text function guys for that i give an id here id of first p i can access the html element by its id attribute value using document dot get element by id function in double quotations i say first p. I am telling get the element whose id is set to first p. This element id is set to first p. So it returns the reference to this paragraph. So I store the reference in a variable var first first p equal to. Now onwards first p variable indicates this paragraph guys. Then I say here first p dot inner html should be equal to paragraph text. I am telling content of first p should be paragraph text. I want to execute this function after 3 seconds. For that I take help of set time out function. Set time out function executes the given function after the specified delay time. 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second guys. As I told I want to execute change text function after 3 seconds, I say here 3000. 3000 milliseconds equal to 3 seconds guys. I save this, go to browser and reload. You see after 3 seconds, it changes to paragraph text. I go back. So what is happening here? When I reload the page, set timeout function is remembering that I should execute change text function after 3 seconds. So it waits for 3 seconds and then executes change text function. Document dot get element by id gets the element whose id is first p and it changes the content of first p to paragraph text guys. So remember whenever you want to execute a function after a specific time after a specified delay then you go for set timeout function guys. So this is one example. Let's see one more example to understand set timeout function. I save it. Go to browser and reload. I go back again. Here I am going to create a div, opening div, closing div. I am going to identify it uniquely by giving an id of loader. I am going to create a loader guys. I am going to create a page loader. First we are going to show the loader animation. After 3 seconds automatically our browser should take us to google.com website. Understanding? So let's see, I am going to apply some styles to this so that we convert this div into a loader guys. Here I say opening style tag, closing style tag and then I say here type is equal to text or CSS. Inside that I access this div by its id, I say here hash loader, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. I am telling get the element whose id is set to loader. This element id is set to loader and loader width should be 50 pixels 
HEI JST height should be 50 pixels and background dash color should be orange. I save this, go to browser and reload. You see, we got a div which has width of 50 pixels, height of 50 pixels, background color orange. Next, I am going to apply the border. I say here border of 15 pixels, solid light gray color border I am going to apply. I save this, go to browser and reload. See, we got 15 pixels light gray border guys. I am going to say here 10 pixels. I save it, go to browser and reload. That's fine. Next what I do, I say here border dash top. Only top border should be 10 pixel solid blue color. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see, we got blue color. If I want, I can change this to black, B L A C K. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see, top border is a black color one. Next, I say border radius, B O R D E R, border dash R A D I U S, border radius of 50%. So that converts our box into a circle. So dew is now going to look like a circle, guys. Next, I am going to remove this orange color from here, orange background. Save it, go to browser and reload. So it looks like a loader now. I am going to rotate this continuously. I am going to rotate this dew continuously, guys. For that, I take help of animation. I say here, at, at keyframes, animation name I give, rotate loader. Opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. Here I say from, from transform property i am using transform property and then i say here rotate rotate around z axis initially 0 degree initially 0 degree it should be rotated and then to to transform rotate around z axis 360 degrees it should rotate from 0 degree to 360 degree guys okay let me put it like this so that you can clearly see what is happening transform from 0 degree it should go to transform rotate 360 degree guys now i am going to use this animation name here i say animation dash name is rotate loader so this animation should be applied to this loader this dew how much time it should take animation dash duration it should take one second to go from 0 degree to 360 degree rotation if I save this, go to browser and reload, you see, it rotates only once when I reload. See, it rotates only once when I reload, but I want it to rotate continuously. For that, I say animation dash iteration dash count. And then I say here infinite animation iteration count infinite. I save this, go to browser and reload. You see that it is going to keep on rotate. So that is our loader. And I want to put this loader in the center here. So for that I say position, position, absolute, absolute. From left, it should be 40% away. From top of the browser edge, it should be 40% away. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see, the loader is placed in the center of our page. Now what should happen when I reload? After 3 seconds, browser should take us to google.com website or if we have our own website, then it should take us to our own website specific page like that we can define guys. For that, I take help of JavaScript again. So I come down here, I say opening script tag, closing script tag and then I say type is equal to text or JavaScript. Here, I am going to create a function, function go to next page or I can say load next page L O A D load next page here I say window dot location dot H R E F hyperlink reference window dot location dot H R E F is used to redirect to a specific page guys so here I say https colon double forward slash www dot google dot com then I say semicolon I want to execute this load next page function after three seconds so for that what i do i take help of set time out function and here i give the function name load next page after three seconds so three thousand milliseconds which is equal to three seconds 
I save this, go to browser and reload. You see it waits for 3 seconds and then it takes us to google.com. So that is how you can create a loader. Let's say if I want this to take to my YouTube channel. So I say https colon double forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash chidres tech tutorials. I save it, minimize, I right click on default HTML page, say open with Google Chrome. You see, after 3 seconds, it takes me to my YouTube channel. So that is how you can create a loader page. I hope you guys have clearly understood how we use set timeout function. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I suggest you people to try this yourself. If you try it yourself, you get more clear idea guys. And I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share the channel to as many students as possible. Let them also get the benefit. Please do subscribe, share and support. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.